Good morning, GHS. I'm Gabe. And I'm Adam Bulby. Today we'll tell you about the triple E virus, IB forum information, and the MIA's dance. But first, here's the pledge. Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now a moment of silence. Thank you. That was a great pledge. First up, Mr. Kirkton really wants you to know that Che Guevara was taken care of on October 9th, 52 years ago. And speaking of October 9th, it's also the day that IB registration forms are due. Is it just a coincidence? We're not sure. That's for you to figure out. The Triple E virus has spread to three people in southeast Michigan and has been spotted in 11 horses in Indiana. The fatality rate in humans who have contracted Triple E is roughly 33%. Health officials in our county are expected to begin spraying for mosquitoes today. Goshen schools would like students to use bug sprays with D and want to make sure that all after school activities are done before nightfall. Student Council is starting the GHS Shirt Project as a way to raise money to fund school activities. The shirt will come out on October 18th as the theme for Senior Night against the Wawasee Warriors. If you're interested in an internship, head to the Guidance Office and grab an application. Make sure your app is turned in with your printed transcript to Ms. Ch Ms. Schmucker or Mr. Cross before fall break. The MYA and MYD groups are sponsoring a dance tomorrow. The dance opens at 7.30 and the dance begins at 8. Pre-sale tickets are available at lunch for $3 and you can buy pie tickets at the door for $6. Victoria Flores tells us why they're hosting the dance. I feel that there's some disconnect between the culture and the community here and so it's just a great way for everyone to come together and just have a great time learning about this culture. Just a reminder that if you would like to get signed out for SRT, you first need to click on the icon on your desktop that says SRT. When you are at the website, you need to log in with your usual username and password. Continue by going to Request a Sign Out, which then shows you your options on what teacher you would like to get signed out with. And with that being said, select the session of your choice, and then you got yourself a deal. So it'll be an informational meeting for all students interested in going on the marine biology trip next Tuesday during the second session of SRT in room 3070. There's one more week until fall break, but if you're a student athlete or in marching band, you should still go to your practices during break. And now, let's go to Calvin and Evan with sports. Hey Goshen, I'm Evan. And I'm Calvin. And this is your sports for Friday, October 4th. The other night, the boys' soccer team beat Penn by a score of 3-2. to two. Namus Gallegos and Diego Romo and Ricardo Garcia each had a goal. On Tuesday, the girls' varsity soccer team tied with Concord at a score of 3-3. Three to three. Leading scorers were Matty Swallow with two goals and Miriam Itaraga with one goal. On Saturday, the cross-country team will travel to Concord to participate in the NLC Championship. On Friday, the football team will head to Mid Middlebury to take on Northridge. The unified flag football team will be going to Tippecanoe Valley tomorrow for sectionals. That's it for this week's sports. Now back to your boys, Gabe and Adam. Boy, it sure has been weathery lately, huh? Yeah, whoever's doing weather is going to show us more about that in this week's forecast. Hello GHS, I'm Jason and here's your weather for this weekend. Today we will have a high of 59 with a low of 46. It'll also be partly cloudy 
Tomorrow, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 55. And lastly, on Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 57. Have a good day, GHS. And now to Logan for his entertainment corner. Hello, and welcome back to GTV's Entertainment Corner. I'm Logan, and this week's review is over the new DaBaby album, Kirk. This is DaBaby's second studio album. From Gucci Mane to Chance the Rapper, there are a lot of standout features on this album. This album is explicit. Keep that in mind. My favorite track from the album is Vibes. If you have a movie, TV show, or album, make sure to email me at this link to, and email to me some suggestions, either that or ask me in the hallway. This is Logan, signing off. Thanks for the entertainment, Logan. That's all for us today, GTV. Stinky. We would be really disappointed and probably kind of sad if you guys forgot to like and subscribe.